In Colossians 2 verse 7, Paul says, keep your roots deep in Jesus, build your lives on him and become stronger in your faith. The life of faith is a personal journey. It's about building with God every day. It's about becoming stronger as a Christian every day, which means engaging in prayer and Bible study and spending time in the presence of God. Quite simply, we grow stronger in faith the more we rely on Jesus. And what does a life full of faith consist of? Well, quite simply, freedom. Freedom from two things. First, in Colossians chapter 2, verse 11, Paul writes this, You have been freed from the power of the sinful self. The truth is, of course, that we are all sinners. We all do things wrong. We all neglect to do things that we should do. We are constantly letting God down, letting other people down. And no matter how hard we try, we can't stop ourselves from sinning. But what is also true is that sin has no power over us. Now, there's a big difference between sins in the plural and sin in the singular. Sometimes we talk about sins in the plural and sometimes we talk about sin in the singular because the two things are different. Sins in the plural are the things we do wrong. But sin in the singular is the power that determines our future destiny. When it comes to sins in the plural, our lives will be forever plagued by them because there is no possibility that you or I will ever stop doing things wrong. But even though that is true of sins in the plural, sin in the singular has no power over us at all. Sin does not control our destiny. God controls our destiny. So we have been set free from the power of sin in our lives, even though we may continue to commit sins. And the reason why is in Colossians 2 verses 14 and 15. God forgave us all our sins. He cancelled the unfavourable record of our debts with its binding rules and did away with it completely by nailing it to the cross. Yes, we may continue to commit sins, but sin has no more power over us because God forgives our sins. The debt is cancelled and he has done away with our sins completely. As Paul wrote in Romans chapter 8 verse 1, there is now no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. But there's another freedom that comes in Christ too that Paul mentions in Colossians 2.15. And on that cross, Christ freed himself from the power of the spiritual rulers and authorities. He made a public spectacle of them by leading them as captives in his victory procession. It wasn't just that sin was defeated on Good Friday. Satan himself was defeated as well. And not just a quiet defeat, but Satan was turned into a public spectacle and has been made captive of Christ for all eternity. And because we are united with Christ, Satan has no power over us either. Of course, we'll continue to be attacked. Of course, we continue to be tempted. Of course, we give in to temptation. But in the final analysis, Satan has no more power over us and we will be justified with God for all eternity. Freedom and full life. That is what Christ offers us today. A new start in life, a new beginning with God and other people, a fresh start, free from condemnation and fear. We are on a journey, constantly growing into Christ, building on him, rooting ourselves in him. The fruit of the journey is personal freedom and fullness of life, freedom from the power of sin, freedom from the tyranny of Satan. Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, I have come so that you may have life in all its fullness. May that fullness of life become a reality for each one of us today.